Now, it may be way too early to say that I am calling something the best for 2023, but I'm pretty confident when I'm saying that the best pouch that I've used all year, and I have used this one almost exclusively since the day I got it, is the Notorious EDC All Good Pouch, the best pouch of 2023. I'm gonna explain why. We're gonna take a look at this pouch and we're gonna take a look at what I'm carrying on the inside. Let's go. If you love knives, flashlights, bags, pouches, all EDC gear and everything in between, make sure you're subscribed because why not? It costs you nothing and it really helps us out. And don't forget to make the algorithm happy by hitting that like button as well. We appreciate it in advance. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, this is my favorite pouch of 2023, and this is the Notorious EDC All Good Pouch. And let me tell you something, it's just about all good. It is a fantastic pouch. Let's go over the exterior before we hit the interior as well. Now, I got the special drop on the OD Green No Crow, as in no Velcro version. Usually you get a lot of Velcro up here. Uh, you don't necessarily get a zipper pouch, but I got me a zipper pouch at the very front. I love the clean look of just the outside here with no Velcro. And I made me a custom lanyard as well. I like the zippers that came on them. They came with OD Green YKK zippers. Uh, this is made of high quality Kodora fabric. Um, and this is a workerman bead that I have on uh, a kind of a custom lanyard here and you can find it's an OD green bead ghost bead as well and these are this is a plastic kind of a silicone bead so it's kind of it's really nice to grip it's not hard plastic it's going to be kind of a silicone plastic but again you've got a front zipper pouch here no velcro here on the back what I keep in this front pouch is just some essentials that I have of course I've always got some lens wipes both for my camera and for my glasses or sunglasses that I have around. So these are two essential things that I usually keep pretty much everywhere. I've usually got two or three of those on tap as well. This is one of my cool coins that I got to my, uh, in on my travels to New York City this past summer. Uh, this is a 9-11 Memorial Museum uh, coin and really enjoy this got some really awesome stuff right here of course the pentagon the twin towers in the beginning or excuse me in the middle you got flight 11 flight 175 flight 93 and flight 77 all four of the flights that perished on september 11th and so excellent just quality in this i keep this as a reminder especially since i was carrying it for the entire month of september uh, i served in the marines between 2000 and 2004 and so I always want to remember what uh, we were fighting for. Even though we're not in Afghanistan anymore, I still want to remember that. Let's move on to the inside here. And again, the zippers just get smoother over time. These are YKK zippers, so they're self-lubricating zippers. The more you use them, the easier they'll be to get into. And I have used this pouch probably daily. I've used it at least four or five times daily. And you'll see why when I open it up here. So I've got a lot of different tools here. Let's start off with my Mighty Hanks um, handkerchief here. This is just a kind of a threaded looking uh, gray black version with kind of embroidery on the edges. On the inside, you've got a nice cleaning cloth. And again, I can use this in concert with my lens wipes to clean the, the lens and then clean it with this microfiber cloth that's on the inside as well. This is great for glasses, great for lenses, great for sunglasses. That's about all I use it for. I do not, I do not use this for like nose blowing or anything. <laughs> wouldn't want to do that. Wouldn't want to mess up that. So that's my Mighty Hanks. Highly recommend Mighty Hanks. Don't have a ton of a Hanks. Probably need to get some more as well. So let's start off in, where do you want to start? Where do you, if I could get a vote from you, I wish we were on live stream. I can get a vote for you. Let's start on this side with some of these tools and then we'll get over here and inside the pocket. I've got a number of things inside this pocket as well. So I use this quite a bit. On this side right here, I've got a tiny little pry bar. This is a tiny little titanium pry bar from Big Eye Design. And this thing is like no bigger than, the, it's like a little bit bigger than a quarter, but I put a little lanyard on here just so I could grab everything out as I need it. Not a whole lot to say, except you've got kind of a 
uh, textured end to this as well as a flathead so you can use this uh, to get off any kind of screws or things like that especially camera mounts that I need to get off as well. It's not very thick, it's not very big, uh, but it is pure titanium and it's gonna be really strong and it's a nice little teeny little pry bar that you can put in almost any kit that you would like to there. Next on the list is a Peak Design tool. You'll see the little Peak Design logo right there. This is a two key Allen key set that, that moves like this. You've got a little key loop. That's why I've got that little piece of uh, 550 cord on here, but you've got a smaller Allen key set and a larger right here. You can use these. I use these are the two main sizes that you use for getting camera plates off and different things like that. And uh, you can also use this for a number of other applications as well. This is not going to help you with any knives necessarily, so you're going to have to have a dedicated toolkit to take apart your knives. But since I work with cameras and taking off camera plates and mounting plates and things like that so much, this is just invaluable. This actually came with, you can't buy this individually, I don't think. This actually came with one of my expensive tripods that, that I broke. It was one of those nice carbon fiber tripods that I broke. Uh, it was the compact tripod, I believe, and it had a little cool thing where you could just slip it right inside one of the side rails. It was really, really convenient to have. So I usually just keep this in my pouch as well. This right here is my one of my most one of my most prized possessions. This is my daily customs custom Swiss Army knife Victorinox. I mean, this is absolutely one of the most beautiful little things that I have. Made me a custom lanyard here. I like to have little custom lanyards to grab stuff out of here really quickly. Um, this is the Swiss Champ version, I believe. I could be wrong about that, so if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. But you've got a Phillips head screwdriver, a bottle opener, of course. Uh, you've got a regular blade right here, uh, just a regular nice little blade. And then you've got, on the other side, you've got a flathead screwdriver on one side, then you've got the one side, you've got um, a nail file as well, and then you've got the patented scissors, the very, very nice scissors that come on a lot of different Victorinox knives. And then, of course, in the custom scales here, you've got your toothpick, as well as your tweezers on the other side. Now, I will say that with the custom scales, the custom scales are ever so slightly a little bit thicker and so it's a little harder to get these tiny tools out of here, but if you got a fingernail at all, like I, I don't have very much fingernail, but if you got a fingernail at all, you can pull those out and get those out. But these custom scales, these are custom OD green scales. I bought this at Blade Show. I've just been so impressed with the quality on this. I'm gonna be saving up my pennies so that I can spend some more money uh, at Daily Customs. This is some guys that are using this stuff they're making these custom things from Germany. Uh, when I stopped by their booth, they were extremely kind, uh, but over half of them didn't speak English. And so I had to, I think I talked to the social media manager there, which by the way, if you're not following Daily Customs on Instagram, they have some of the coolest looking posts and everything make you just want these uh, tools and knives. They actually have come out with a brand of their own uh, fixed blade knives that look incredible. And so again, this was not provided to me. I bought this with my own funds. I believe this one was $80 and I got it at Blade Show Atlanta this past summer. Cannot say enough good things about it. Check out dailycustoms.shop and you can find out all of their stuff. You can actually buy just the scales. If you've already got the knife, you can buy this just the scales and they've got a bunch of other different scales, titanium scales, honeycomb scales, textured scales, micarta scales, all sorts of different stuff. Be sure to check them out. All right, one of the other essentials that I use in my day-to-day -day life because I'm using a bunch of different computers on and around campus is this Lexar USB drive. Now, this is actually a flip drive. This is a 32 gig model. You can get them in a bunch of different, different sizes. But this thing is so tiny, but it has a trick up its sleeve. It flips around to give you a regular USB port. Now, if you're like me and you work with a little bit of technology, you'll know that a lot of stuff does not have USB-C ports quite yet, even though it's becoming more and more uh, commonplace as we keep going. But a lot of my stuff, my Mac only has uh, USB-C ports. And so I need something to go from USB-C to USB-A. And that's when this drive comes in handy. And of course you can get them in different sizes. I love this. I think I bought like three of them 
and uh, just a little lanyard on here that I've attached just so I can keep track of something this small. But again, this is a Lexar, I think it's called a dual drive maybe, but I'll have it linked down below, which by the way, everything that I'm putting here is linked down below. I'm gonna link to Daily Customs Shop, I'm gonna link to Mighty Hanks, and a few of the other things like Big Eye Design, of course. Some of this stuff you can get on Amazon, which if you buy from the Amazon links, that helps out the channel. And I really appreciate your support. So if you're gonna buy some of this stuff anyway, uh, use my link and uh, help me out here on the channel as well. Uh, you're giving, I don't have any subscriptions. I don't have like a club that you can pay a dollar or two a month to or anything like that. And I don't have any plans to do that because I don't wanna manage that. But again, if you wanted to buy me a coffee, or if you wanted to help out the channel by buying something that you're going to buy anyway, then uh, go ahead and do that inside the Amazon links down below. This is one of my favorite finds. And, you know, I knew about Through Night, but I didn't know that they made a flashlight that was this tiny. This is the TI-2. This thing is so, so small. As you can see, I'm going to compare it with the Swiss Army knife. In fact, it's about just the exact length of a Swiss Army compact right there. And so if you look at that, this through 19 is just a twist on. It's got a really nice bright um, light and it works off of just a AAA battery. So I've got just a single AAA battery in here and works really, really well. It's not USB-C rechargeable. It's not rechargeable in any kind of way. You can use rechargeable batteries with it though. And in fact, you can get some of those uh, rechargeable batteries that you can just plug right into it, uh, the battery itself and charge it that way. But this thing has been really handy, especially when I don't have a flashlight, a dedicated flashlight on me. And uh, it's really super nice. This is a Through Night uh, TI2. I love Through Nights as a brand. I've got a couple of their other lights as well. Make sure you check this one out. It's a really cool, fun little light. All right, this is just one of your standard here, and I've got a red lanyard on it because this contains some uh, pills, some medicine. This is a little pill carrier, and it's a, a titanium, just a unbranded titanium pill carrier that you can get on Amazon. Again, the links will be below. It's got a little... Uh, O-ring around the top right here so that it will be waterproof. So you can actually dunk this. I wouldn't advise it if you've got some important medications in there, but you can actually dunk this. I keep allergy pills in here. And so you can just put these on here. This is my lisinopril and you've got two allergy pills. It's just nice to have some backup pills in case I forget them at home when I'm here at the office and you just screw this right back on. It's kind of this stainless titanium finish on it. It's a really neat little pill carrier and I'll have it linked below. There are any number of pill carriers and stuff, but this is the one that I found that has about the same circumference or it's the same width rather as something like a pin. Uh, all the others seem to be much wider. This is not too wide. It seems to be much wider and bigger and I don't really need that. I just need something to hold four or five little pills, uh, not, you know, 25 pills. And so this actually works out really well. I'll have that linked below. And then last, but certainly not least, is my OD Green Runt 5 from Protec. This is one of my most favorite knives in my entire collection. Of course, it's not cheap, but you've got the push button release here. And I love, love, love the shape of this blade. I love the stonewash finish here. I love that it's magna cut. Oh my goodness, it's magna cut steel here. I love that you've got a really stout, uh, I don't know if that's titanium or just stainless steel, but it's a super, super stout uh, blade, or excuse me, belt clip here. And you've got just this finish on this OD green, this handle right here is just incredible. You've got a little spot back here for a tiny lanyard if you wanted to add something like that. But overall, this knife is just amazing quality. Protec just continues to impress. And it will jump out of your hand. If you do not hold on to this thing, it will absolutely jump out of your hand. Again, I'm not a huge fan of expensive knives, but Protec makes some ones that are incredible quality. And I just love this. This is the Runt 5. All right, moving over here to the right side, uh, what I, at least what I call the right side of the all good pouch. You've got a, a loop right here, which you can attach 
something to if you want to. I don't have anything attached to it necessarily, and that doesn't mean that you can't use it. But the thing about I like about the all good pouch is if you've got big loops right here, you've got one big loop right here that you could use, and you've got three little tiny loops that you could use, but then one big one behind that. So you can configure this however you would like to. It's fantastic. Behind here, you've got one big loop, and then you've got two small loops right here. What I have got on this side is a writing utensil, and this is the Refine EP1 pin. Now, I've talked about these at length. I've had dedicated videos on them. Refine was kind enough to send this out to me, and uh, I have been using it almost exclusively. This is made out of stainless steel. It's got a cool bolt action right here. It's got a carbon, or excuse me, a, a copper kind of inlay right there. We can see in the side of it, smooth action, ballpoint. It's a Schmidt refill. This pen writes really well. If you haven't seen my dedicated video on these, make sure you check that out. I'll have this linked above and below as well. The only other writing utensil I have is a Sharpie Mini, and I find that having a Sharpie on hand is uh, just really valuable. I need to mark something down, need to write something on a sign for somebody, need to do something. And this is just a Sharpie Mini. Uh, I couldn't find these anymore in stores. I couldn't find them in Walmart, couldn't find them in Target. They may have them periodically, seasonal, whatever, but you can get a pack of five, six of these on Amazon for, for decently cheap. I think I got a five pack or so for about six or eight bucks, and I'll have that linked below. But again, just a Sharpie Mini. It's just regular size Sharpie, except uh, it's Mini. <laughs> And that's all there is to say really about that. I could put something else here as well, but I find that I use a Sharpie in my daily job for different things. Now, this is something that's very interesting and you've probably seen this on other channels as well, but this is the Lever Gear uh, compact kind of USB all-in-one. So you can turn it around here. It's got a, I don't have a lanyard on this, but you've got a place for a keychain. You can put this on a keychain if you wanted to, and I don't have mine on a keychain because I like to keep my keychain minimal. But on the other side here, you've got a SIM removal tool that slides kind of in here like this. You've got, you can actually put this on your belt or put it uh, in your pocket. It's got a little clip here. But if you pull this out, you've got a USB-A, and you pull this out right here, and you've got a USB, uh, micro USB, on one end and a USB on the other. Now you can bend this as you see fit, but you can also use the provided adapters and they come with a lightning adapter too, but I opted for the USB-C adapter. You can fit another adapter right in here, but you can actually put on the end here, you can adapt this and then have a USB-C to USB-A adapter and a pinch. And it's really nice. You could charge with this. You can transfer data with this. This is by Lever Gear. Really cool stuff. Uh, John Gadget accessorized me. They've uh, reviewed this already and it's been out for quite a while, but I will link it below and you just put it back here in the package right here. Just snap that back in there. And then you put, and you put this one down in here and it gives this, this kind of tiny little package to where you've got that little adapter just sitting in there. Very cool stuff. And then, of course, we're going to get to the pocket here. I've got a bunch of little bits and bobs here in the pocket, and we'll go over those as well. I've got an AirTag because why not? You can't ever not have, um, you want to track your stuff. Well, turns out this is a small pouch and it's going to have some decently valuable things in it. Mainly my ProTech is going to be in here. So that's at least a $150 knife that's going to be in here with it. So I want to make sure that I can find my bag or my pouch wherever I have it. So I usually have an AirTag in there. I've got a couple of sheets of a small post-it note. So I can write down a small note, of course, with my Refine pen that I have here. Uh, or I can write it with a Sharpie and still be good to go on that. So just a few sheets of that, um, of like a post-it note, small post-it note can fit in there. Uh, I always find that valuable as well. I've got my titanium. This is my Tech Accessories Titanium um, measuring tape. Now I did a video about this, a YouTube short, but this is just, you would not believe how many times a tiny little measuring tape like this comes into play and how much you really need to use one. And so I just found this really interesting. Um, and I got this for Christmas one year and I just 
keep it on me. And it's really, really nice in figuring out dimensions of things. I'm always doing some designs and different things. I'm measuring things on our campus to, to move around. And so this actually works out really well. Now it's not cheap. Of course, it's got a shell made of titanium here, so it's gonna last for a long, long time. I think this was about 40 bucks, maybe 50 bucks, uh, but it is pretty, I think it's a three foot. Yeah, it's a three foot or so, 30 inches. And uh, just a really nice little tape measure. Highly recommended uh, to get one of these and put it in your EDC pouch as well. Got a couple of just random adapters in here as well. Now I've got uh, some of these things handled with the lever gear, of course, but I've got a USB-C to USB-A adapter just in case I need to hook up something like a hard drive. I've got the adapter that actually goes with the lever gear. This is a lightning to micro, or excuse me, lightning to USB-C adapter. And this is actually a reverse adapter because everything I have is USB-C. Sometimes I need to adapt USB-C to USB-A. And so I can use a USB-C cable, USB-C C to C cable, and still use this on a USB-A computer sometimes. And again, I do a lot of computer stuff. You might be able to fit a couple of different things in here in your pouch as well. But hey, that's it. Good gracious, you can fit a lot of stuff. Let me put all this stuff back. You can fit a lot of stuff in this little pouch. Look, check this out. It is unbelievably amazing that you can fit all this stuff in this little pouch in a wonderful, neat little thing. I'm gonna put it back, of course, and arrange it. But this has been one of the best pouches that I've ever used. I love me some Data Crew. I love me some garage built gear pouches. But this one takes the cake, the Notorious EDC AGP, the all good pouch. You gotta catch them on drops. That's the bad thing about it. Tom uh, lives here in Tennessee now, so whenever I manage to catch something on a drop, it's usually pretty quick uh, to get to me because we both live in Middle Tennessee. But at the same time, you gotta catch those drops. And so whenever he does an all good pouch drop, it's just him and maybe a couple of other people that are running Notorious EDC, make sure you check out his all good pouch. That's it, thank you so much for tuning in, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you have hung out to the end of the video, bravo to you, bravo to you. I'm going to give you, if you are still here, I'm gonna give you some stickers. Do you want some stickers? I've still got a couple of stickers left. If you live in the continental United States, I'd love to send you some. If you send me a couple of bucks, if you live elsewhere in the world, I'd love to send you some as well. Comment below, tell me you want a sticker. Thank you for hanging out until the end of the video. Really appreciate all you guys. Happy fall to you. Enjoy your October. Enjoy the football. Enjoy all the wonderful things. And God bless you. Go out and have a great rest of your week. And we'll see you in the next video.